We sat down Nothing Designers to review products from Meme Marketplace Timu. Every once in a while we hear these new online marketplaces making the rounds on YouTube. They sell everything from fully fledged smartwatches to products that have the striking resemblance to our own. So, end of the year, 200 quid left over in the marketing budget. We decided to go on a Timu shopping spree and get our designers to give us their honest opinions. Let's go! Packaging is uh, not great, but I'm excited to see what's inside. These are copies of the air stick. That is like gritty to twist. We do have magnets that help it sort of locate as you rotate it. I think they've taken some of that, but materially, yeah, it's quite dreadful. Whenever I see random names, I try like to think like, why T6? With our naming, like to me, it feels like a very clear structure of numbers and, and descriptive words like ear stick. Should I test these guys? Does it have any controls on board? Yeah, I think it's touch sensitive to... I can hear myself really clearly, so that's not super great. Oh, okay. They're not good cranks. The quality's not great, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, I find with all of these like cheaper ones, when they're at like half volume, it's not absolutely terrible. I mean, I like the idea, but it's not the same as ours. The 3D printers that we use here are very well put together and take a few hours to assemble. But actually, we unboxed this one and it took about 30 seconds. Easy Thread has just like come off during shipping and like reattached itself at an angle. And we've kept it that way to be authentic to the product. So we'll just press play and see what happens. I can start to smell hot plastic, so we could be cooking. I don't know if it's just like being under bright lights, but there's more like smoke coming off it than you'd usually see. So when I sliced the file, it said it would be a 35 minute print. I'm gonna leave this for that time and, and see what we get at the end. So we have the P9. They're snazzy, aren't they? And cheap feeling. It's like a plastic hard shell. They've done the AirPods Max treatment. Oh, do you need to use these for other people as well? Probably. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. Apple has got a really sophisticated mechanism in this area. It sort of gives the user the, sort of the comfort, but here you can see it's just like an angle mechanism. Very, very clunky, very, very plasticky. It's quite interesting that they've done like a replica of trying to follow the same sort of knit pattern as Apple, but it's just a print. I think I'll try it on. It's very tinny. <laughs> Poor sound quality. Audio is dreadful. Worst, worst thing I've ever heard. They feel really cheap. And I'm quite compromising sometimes, but definitely not for these. No, not for me. Oh, don't. I look like a real <laughs> in sunglasses, is it? OK. Are these the new Ray-Bans? Oh, I really don't want to put them. <laughs> is it a good look? <laughs> How's that? I've got a camera, apparently. In the standby mode, press the power button for about three seconds. We could do a little like tour of, um, of stuff. Here's the CNC machine. Here's the great crew. That didn't sound good, did it? I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to crunch. This is such a funny thing, just a earbud at the end of a little micro USB cable. But again, kind of neat. As I've said before, I'm into like modular products that can work in many different scenarios. And I mean, this is working for me. Yeah, that said something. But that's a stupid journey, isn't it? Because I think it said something, but I can't. What would I do? Do that. Very hollow sounding. There's basically no like low end at all. Oh, these are terrible. Uh, that whole experience is weird. Kind of uncomfortable on the head, but as like a novel camera glasses recording thing. Yeah, kind of fun. Let's go. It's TV time. It's not as advertised. <laughs> oh, it doesn't really work. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's quite funny. I don't know. Maybe if you and your friends are messing around, you can like do that. <laughs> They've actually got a really interesting ring pattern on the screen itself. I was hoping for a bigger impact. It just makes the screen look blurry and slightly rainbow. It's a little bit like old school um, 3D glasses. It really elevates like basic renders. But watching anything serious, I probably wouldn't. Oh, the box makes it seem like you're going to the movies. Like, yeah, that compared to what it actually is, is insane. <laughs> It doesn't do any, anything that it says. It's broken, it wasn't that easy to use, it's not high quality, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> oh, beer can opener. How convenient that this was here. So it's kind of like a really specific tin opener. Oh. <laughs> Nothing happened. Two hours later. It feels like I'm doing something. I'm worried now that I'm gonna make a big mess. Well, there's liquid coming out. I can't see where from. I mean, cans are like designed to just... 
you know, that took like half a second, whereas that took, I don't know, that was a good like 10 minutes we were here for. The poor person who's sitting here after me. <laughs> I quite like this one. Oh, it looks dangerous. That's what you want from a blender. It has got a smiley face on it, which I do like. Oh, hang on. Can I just give it a go first? Oh, sh I'm pretty sure you shouldn't do that with the lid off. I'm just going to put a little bit in just in case. See? I'm going to point it in your direction just in case. I'm all right with this one. <laughs> I actually love this. I mean, I wouldn't use it in any context, but I like it. Nevertheless. We've got a wired mechanical keyboard. That's quite interesting. This USB cable is like the only one that will fit perfectly in this channel. I mean, I say it fits in the channel. I think it's quite interesting. It's also got this additional knob. I guess that's like a volume. Okay, it's a mute, unmute, and volume control button. I wouldn't say it feels like a mechanical keyboard. It kind of feels like a, like a cheaper membrane type. There's some other like key switches in here. So maybe it's actually hot swappable. Oh, there we go. <laughs> the travel is quite nice. That noise, I'm not a fan. If 10 people are typing like this at all times of the day, very annoying. No. Personally, not for me, but I know a few guys on the team who are mechanical keyboard people. This is a phone case. Quality assured is always a good sign, and it's from a professional case factory. Ooh. <laughs> We've got some rubberized wood going on. I think the whole point of the Nothing phones is that you kind of want to be able to not just see the light strip, but also the rest of the details. As soon as you put something like this on, then it's kind of the same as every other phone where you wouldn't be able to tell whose it might be from far away. It's kind of sad to, to think of covering it up. It's nice that people out there are recognizing Nothing as a brand and making phone cases for it. Okay, let's have a look at our 3D print. It's done something. It's done that. I don't know if anyone's seen the David Lynch film, A Razorhead, but the baby in that is, um, that's exactly what that looks like. Here's one I made earlier. So yeah, this was the exact same file that I printed on both. It's an ear two earbud. So the idea would be that you would just break off the, the supports and you'd have an earbud, kind of uh, an ear two earbud. I don't know what happened here. I guess it's ear three. One big thing is like repeatability. So we got this part, which is pretty good. And then the immediate next one was this, which is like a failed print that's no good. But actually I think, yeah, just the, the quality and like 3D printing can be really high precision. If it's your entry to 3D printing, you could probably get really into this quite affordable or, you know, not, not super expensive device and probably get some good stuff out of it. So maybe this is actually like my winner of the day. What have we got here? Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> Nothing for the person who has everything. That is so ridiculous. Careful when opening the pack. Step two, experience nothing. The sound of one hand clapping, the hole in a donut. That's really shit and really wasteful as well. And also who sat there and made that? That's really sad, isn't it? It could be like meditative to like, like you're gonna be decidedly conscious when opening this. I'm gonna close my eyes here, I don't know if this is weird, but. Nice. It made a bit of a nice noise <laughs> when opening. I feel like someone should put something really precious in there and tie a really beautiful bow and put it on their Christmas tree. Indescribable. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Too true. Oh, this looks fun. This is the first one where I've been like, what's in this? Weird little opener. This feels like something you'd make in like year nine, like woodwork class. There's gonna be something horrible in it, isn't there? All right, last thing. Oh, shit! <laughs> <Hey. laughs> yeah. I knew it was coming and it still got me. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> uh, oh my God. <laughs> What? <laughs> I was too cautious on the opening. I didn't make myself jump, but it's fun and I'd like to take it home. <laughs> How dare you guys? <laughs> I jumped as well. 